Hi, and welcome to a Civilization VI Rise and Fall live stream. In this live stream, we will be playing Gilgamesh in a duel against a random computer opponent. So we will select Gilgamesh and set the map type to Terra to ensure that we start as close as possible on the same continent to our enemy, set the map size to Duel, and click on Start Game, leaving all other settings at their defaults. When we begin the game, we're just going to basically plop our guy down on the first square that he lands on, and clicking on Choose Research will open the technology tree, and just go straight to Future Tech so that all technologies are automatically researched without us having to go through and select them individually on each turn. We'll click on Choose Production and go to the multi queue here, and just fill it up with war carts. Note that you'll want to do that before you get your warrior to make his first move, or the game will automatically close the multi-queue while you're in the middle of clicking on things. Now at this point, we're going to have to make a decision on whether we go left or right, and that's really going to determine how quick we win this game, because as soon as we find the enemy, we're just going to completely demolish him. Let's go to the left. We have a 50% chance of making the right choice here. And we'll just keep on exploring this map until we hopefully find our enemy. Going back to Manage Citizens, it looks like the game has chosen the correct spot for us. We've got a tile that gives us two food and two production, so that's looking pretty good. And we'll keep on exploring with our warrior. As it turns out, I see a base down here, and we have now found our enemy, Sion Dok Diok of Korea. We will definitely sample her hospitality and it looks like we have a couple of good places to approach here we can attack from this square right here this one here this one here and this one here so we can completely and utterly surround the enemy which is always a good thing it's a little bit harder to defeat an enemy when you can only attack them from one side as you'll have to constantly swap out your units and it will take considerably longer to actually accomplish anything. We'll take the warrior and just keep sort of scouting out the lay of the land here and then start sending our war carts over. Let's send the first war cart just outside of their base here. And our warrior will want to attack from land. Luckily, there's no rivers by this base, so it really doesn't matter where we place him at this point. And in this case, I'm actually just going to tell him to skip his turn. And just keep on skipping turns until backup arrives. I'll choose the plus five combat strength when fighting barbarians, although at this point we're really not going to be fighting any barbarians. I'm also going to choose the plus one production in all cities in order to get faster war cart building. For the civic, we'll just go all the way over to the end here and choose feature civic so that we don't have to individually click on any of the civics as we continue the game. I'm actually just going to set the warrior on alert, as we really don't have a need to just keep on clicking skip turn manually every turn. At this point, we could begin attacking, and in fact, I think I'm actually going to be a little bit careless here, and why don't we just begin the attack? Um, nope, actually it looks like we can't. For some reason, the game has decided um, that that's not going to happen. So 
I think that's a bug in the user interface. So by right clicking on their base, we're going to get declare war option and let's declare war. And then I'm going to move my warrior into place and start attacking their walls. We can move the war card into place now and do a second attack. And then click on next turn. Attacking again with the warrior and attacking again with the war card. One final attack with the warrior and one final attack with the war cart, and we have a turn 19 victory. Though its face may change throughout the ages, history is written from the hand of the victor. By your actions this day, Sure, our people a glorious tomorrow. And that, my friends, is how you can use Gilgamesh, one of the absolute cheapest early game rush strategy uh, leaders in the game, to get a turn 19 victory in Civilization VI. I hope you enjoyed that, and if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time.